What up, soccer fans? And we're back for another series of soccer ball documentaries. And this week, we're going to talk about the Man of Steel Derby. That's right, between the Sheffield Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls and their bitter rivals, the Sheffield United Rollerblades. I gotta give a shout out to my two broskies who are Nocturnal Birdie Owl fans, season card holders. That is my broski Robert Davidson and his little pal Philip Jordan. Up the Nocturnal Birdie Owls and uh, Rollerblades. Well, y'all just keep rollerblading in Yorkshire. All right, guys, before we get started on the soccer documentary, let's talk about Sheffield as the mecca for soccer in the United British Kingdom. That, that is what it's like, because what is interesting is although these two soccer teams, the Sheffield Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls and their rivals, the Sheffield United Rollerblades, are basically the face of the city's soccer tailgates and parties, there's actually another team in Sheffield called Sheffield SC. That is right, Sheffield Soccer Club. And they are actually the oldest soccer franchise in the world to date. Now, they play in Derbyshire, and they're like EFL League 8, but it's pretty cool, huh? My name is Richard Timms. I'm chairman of Sheffield FC, the world's first football club. <laughs> Not really? All right. Okay, well, let's get back to the Man of Steel Derby, and let's talk about real soccer teams. The Man of Steel Soccer Derby is one of the most fiercest soccer derbies in the United British Kingdom. Now, no doubt in my mind that these two soccer fans and their hooligans of the Nocturnal Birdie Owls and the Rollerblades do not like each other one bit. However, did you know that they actually have a lot in common? And once you see how much they have in common, you'll realize that these two soccer franchises are basically siblings with the same dad but different moms or with the same moms but different cousins or dads. I don't know, but you'll get to see how much they have in common with each other. Number one, first similarity. Let's look at the seeds of this rivalry. The Adam and Eve of this rivalry comes from the sport of British baseball, which is also known as, a.k.a. cricket. As Sheffield was a Major League British Baseball, a.k.a. cricket town, both Wednesday and the United Rollerblades were born out of their respected British Baseball, a.k.a. cricket franchises. Sheffield Wednesday and Nocturnal Birdie Owls came from the Wednesday Cricket Club, and the soccer team was made to keep the players in good shape during the winter months. Sheffield United Rollerblades were born out of their British Baseball, a.k.a. cricket team, the Sheffield United Cricket Franchise. This was the first time an entire sport franchise had taken the name United. Well, Manchester, well, Newcastle, well, Hartlepool, next time you guys sing there's only one United, just remember that you actually stole the name from the Sheffield United Rollerblades. Number two, let's look at the second similarity. Now, both of these soccer franchises were born in the same building when agreements were made to finalize the go-ahead to have both soccer franchises. In other words, both teams were given the green light to go and be made in the same place. The place was known as the Adelphi Hotel in Central Sheffield. Nowadays, it's known as the Crucible Theater, and I don't think anybody really goes there. But next time you Nocturnal Birdie Owl fans are flying through town, or you United fans are rollerblading through Sheffield, if you see the theater, just you both remember, you're both enemies, but that is the Jerusalem of soccer in Sheffield. That is right. That is where you were both conceived and born. Third similarity. Now, the Sheffield Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls are not going to like this similarity, but it is fact. Both of these soccer franchises played at Bram Hawk Lane, which is now the home soccer dome of the Sheffield United Rollerblades. Think about that. Bitter rivals, but used to share the same soccer dome. Here's how it's quite interesting, because the Sheffield Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls, if you think of like their little fans, like the little kids, it would be interesting to know for these preschool Nocturnal Birdie Owl fans, how would they feel to know that their great, 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 grandpa used to have a season ticket to watch the Nocturnal Birdie Owls play at Bram Hawk Lane. Number four, final similarity, the founding father. In 1867, Sheffield Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls acquired a player called Charlie Click, who would play for the Wednesday Nocturnal Birdie Owls and then serve as their president of soccer operations, which in British terminology means a chairman. Now, Basically, Charlie Clegg was known as the Napoleon of British soccer. Not because he had a little man complex, because basically, when he was in Sheffield, he was born in Sheffield, he revolutionized the game to make it the hottest product in the world. 
But briefly, he served as the chairman of the Soccer FA for the entire United British Kingdom. And then he was the chairman for the British Baseball, a.k.a. the Cricket Franchise, Sheffield United British Baseball, a.k.a. Cricket Franchise. Then in 1889, he gave birth at the Adelphi Hotel to the Sheffield United Rollerblades. So, if you want to ask questions why we have two soccer teams in Sheffield today, you can thank Charlie Clegg. He is the reason we have the Man of Steel Derby in Yorkshire today. Now, let's move to modern-day soccer, where these two franchises have held a few encounters, and it's fair to say that they have a most fiercest but most friendliest relationship. No doubt these fans do want bragging rights, and after all, Sheffield is a pretty cool town with some neat nightclubs and some pretty awesome sports bars, but these two teams, as we have mentioned, have so many similarities that actually gains them to have some respect for one another. Now, I'm not saying basically that the, the Blades business crew and the Owls crime squad are going to meet up for sodas and hot dogs before the game and talk about their week and how their families are doing. These fans on soccer day absolutely hate each other. But the wider community of these soccer fan bases respect each other due to the fact there's so much pride and history that links them together, hence why there's so much to talk about when it comes to soccer in Sheffield. 